Hello, my name is Jerry Mortensen. I'm the creator of Mortensen Math. Today, Mortensen Math is being used across the United States and in many countries. It is producing some of America's top math students. I discovered that most of these students had very little conceptual knowledge of mathematics. They tried to pass their tests by memorizing rules and processes. It wasn't working. Therefore, I developed hands-on materials that allowed these students to conceptualize mathematics, to see mathematics. This was the beginning of Mortensen Math. During the next few minutes, you will see, hear, and experience the power of Mortensen more than math. Can we do some multiplication? Of course. Let's try this problem. Or, or should I say question? <laughs> OK. I'm not going to worry about any of the rules. I'll just ask the question. Oh, splendid. That is the secret. I'll conceptualize. I'll use logic and imagination. Oh, I think we're on the verge of some real creation. OK. What is 21 counted 12 times? I can do that. Wonderful. Would you show me how? Twenty-one once. Twenty-one twice. That's very good, my dear. And you'll certainly get the right answer if you keep on like that. But did you know you could do the problem a lot faster? Rather than get out twenty ones one at a time, why don't we get out twenty-one ten at a time, eh? It's very easy. I'll show you. No, I think I can do it. Twenty one once. Do you see it, Sir Isaac? Oh, yes, yes, I do. Ten and ten. Make 20, and 1 makes 21. Splendid. 21 once, 21 twice, 21 three times, four times, five times, six times, Seven times, eight times, nine times, and ten times. I have twenty-one ten times. That's right. But I need two more. Twelve. Twenty-one once. Twenty-one twice. Now I have twelve. I counted 21, 12 times. And you did it beautifully. Do you see how math is just counting? One, two, 200. One, two, three, four, five. Five tens makes 50. One, Two, two units. That's easy. The answer is 252. That's right. It's two of the hundreds kind. Five of the tens kind. And two of the units kind. 252. I feel wonderful. I understand everything. I almost feel like I could do a story problem. Well, of course you could do a story problem. 
You've already demonstrated your brilliance here today. <laughs> Just use the scientific method. Remember, the most important part of the scientific method is observing. <laughs> May I demonstrate some of my problem-solving skills for you? I'll give you a story problem. Okay. 21 boys and girls pick 231 apples. How many apples would each boy and girl get if the apples were divided equally among them? <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. My, my, my. It's too easy. I think I'll cry. <laughs> I always wanted to be a poet. <laughs> now, all I have to do is just observe the situation of 21 boys and girls out picking 231 apples, right? <laughs> Since I can't be there with those boys and girls, I'll, I'll simply have to imagine it in my mind. <laughs> Sort of a thought experiment, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all relative. <laughs> and I can help you imagine it too. Tell it. I can see in my mind ten boys and girls. And I can see another ten boys and girls. And one more. That's twenty-one boys and girls. Now, I can imagine those boys and girls filling up a box of apples that holds one hundred. And I can see them filling up another box that holds one hundred apples. And then I see them filling up a box that holds 10 apples. I see them filling up another box that holds 10 apples. And another box that holds 10 apples. And of course, there's one more apple. <laughs> now, now that the children have picked all the apples, I shall have them line up. And then I will pass all the apples out to them, eh? <laughs> Let's come over to the counting house. Here are... Ten boys and girls, and here are ten more boys and girls, and one more. That's ten, twenty, one. <laughs> and now the apples. <laughs> we have two hundred, thirty, one. Two hundreds, three tens, and one. Two hundred thirty-one apples. Hmm? Now, I shall give each of the children one apple at a time. <laughs> yeah, here's one apple for little Jimmy, one apple for little Susie, here's an apple for little Griselda, and there's an apple for Poindexter, and, uh, you know, this is taking frightfully long. Why don't we give each of the children ten apples at a time, eh? <laughs> That'll speed things up. <laughs> Watch this. Now, little Jimmy gets ten apples and one more. Susie gets ten apples and one more. Little Griselda gets ten apples and one more. All the children get ten apples and one more. That's ten, eleven apples for each child. That's easy. I can do a story problem. Can you give me a story problem, Sir Isaac? Oh, yes, I shall indeed. Um, let's say that there are ten, twenty, thirty, one, Two. There are 32 boys and girls, and they're out picking 100, 200, 300, 80, 4, 384 apples. Now, if the apples are shared among each of the children equally, how many apples would each boy and girl get? I can't believe it! Well, it, it's not really true, you see. I, I've just made it up. It's a hypothetical, theoretical, sort of a mental exercise, eh? No! I can't believe that I can see the answer! You can see the answer? Well, that's wonderful! <laughs> I'm conceptualizing! I'm visualizing! I'm using logic and imagination! Oh, splendid, splendid! Oh, can it be that I am such a wonderful teacher? <laughs> well, don't keep me in suspense, my dear. By all means, show me the answer. Right, ten, twenty, thirty, 
Thirty. Thirty-two. That's one apple for each boy and girl. Very good. I do believe you're getting the hang of this. Ah, oh, excellent. That's using the old imagination. Wonderful, my dear. <laughs> That's right. Twelve. Each person gets twelve. Ten. One, two. Twelve. Very good. Oh, I can hardly wait to tell my mom about all this. Mary. Oh, is that you calling for me, Mom? I'll be right there. Oh, Sir Isaac, I have to go. I have to go to a dance recital. You dance? Yes, I tap dance. Oh, uh, could you teach me tap dancing? Well, I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, well, uh, do come back. Even if I am just a figment of your imagination, it's okay. If we could talk about gravity, huh? It will show you some algebra. Oh, uh, what is tap dancing? I, I know. I'll use my imagination. I'll visualize, I'll conceptualize. I will learn tap dancing. After all, I am graceful. Thank you for taking the time to explore Mortensen More Than Math. As you can see, it's the key to understanding mathematics and developing problem-solving skills. I'll be looking forward to working with you and your children.